Hello, boys and girls. We are talking math here. This is topic eight, lesson two, eight dash two, estimating products. I want to, this is a, can be found on page 188. You do not have the answers, the math answers online for this lesson. So I want to go over it. I want to give you a few samples, examples of how to do this. Then what I'm gonna ask you to do is the R page, just the R page, R8-2. So remember when we're estimating, we can estimate in different ways and get different answers. But what we've talked about is when you estimate, one estimate is often better than another. Let's look at these, okay? So I'm going to get right into these and just check these out. I've copied this right out of your book. Here's number one. If I wanna estimate these, I could do it in a couple ways. Let's see, so let me look at this one. What I could do is a little helping number here. Remember that I am estimating. And if I'm estimating, I can change or round numbers. So what I could do is make this number a 12. If I were to make that number a 12, well, it's close to 13. Now I can go back to what I was doing before. Four goes into four once. Four goes into 12 three times. So my estimate could be nine. Question, let's do another one. Number two. Watch this one. Here's number two. It looks like, let me make sure I copy it right. I'm taking these right from page 188. 24 times five ninths. Oh, I see this one. Let's, let me show you this one two different ways. Watch how two different people could round this problem, how we could round this differently. I look at this one and I go, oh, I don't know what to do. I could change this number right here to an eight. If I change that number to an eight, now I'm able to reduce. Eight goes into eight once, eight goes into 24 three times. I could do three times five, I could get 15. Watch another way that someone can round, okay? I could look at this and go, oh, look at this. This number right here is really close to four eighths. It's almost half. Let me block that again. This is almost half. If it were five tenths, that's probably a better way to look at it. Let's look at it like that. This is almost five tenths. And if it were five tenths, it would also be one half. So now look at these two numbers. What's one half of 24? 12. You see it? Let's do another one. Three. This one's different. This says 19 and three fourths times one fourth. Since I'm estimating, I can change numbers. Look at this. This together, all of it together, if I look at all this together, I go, well, that's close to 20, isn't it? Sure is. And I can just go like this. Now I can go, well, look at that. You see what I did? Four goes into four once, four goes into there five times. Boom, there's my estimate. Let's do number four. Number four looks like this, four, times seven. Oh, this one's different too. Yes, Ooh, ugly. If I look at this entire number right here, I say, well, that's almost eight, isn't it? It's 32. There's an estimate. Am I going too fast? Let's do some more. Let's do some more. Let us do number seven. Number seven. 
Number seven looks like this. One third times 25. One third times 25. What am I gonna do there? I see a couple ways of doing this. So let's do it two different ways. I'm estimating. What's one third of that amount? I cannot reduce, can I? No. But if I were to change this number to 24, now I can go three goes into three once, three goes into 24 eight times, and I get eight as an estimate. I could also come over here and go, well, what if this number were a four? No, that's not gonna work. I could change that to a five. Let us see. Is there another way to do Oh, I see another way. Change that to a 27. Could change that to a five. It's not so good, but let's try it. Five goes into five once, five goes into there. Which estimate is better? Which estimate is better? This one is. And you ask, well, why? Why is it any better? Because you changed it less. Let's go on. Eight. Number eight, 60 times five eighths. Let's see if we end up doing this one two different ways. There they are twice. This is number eight. What am I gonna do here? This one almost looks like the four eighths again. It almost looks like four eighths. Imagine if this number here if I changed it slightly to four eighths, then I know that four eighths is the same as one half. So I went from here to here. What is one half of 60? 30. There's an estimate. I like that estimate. That's a good estimate there. Let's look at it again over here and go, hmm. I could change that to 64. What else could I do? Yeah, I like that one. Let me see if I had to. This is a good one up here. Let's see if I can do this bottom one differently on purpose. Five eighths, I could change that to 64. I could do that. I could change this number to 64, but I'm changing it a lot. This probably is not a good estimate. Eight goes into eight once, eight goes into there eight times. Now I get 40. Which one's the better estimate? That one, because I changed the numbers less. Number nine, let's do another one. Five, six times 20. Five, six times 20. What am I gonna do with that? That one is ugly. Five, six times 20. Let's see if I can come up with one way to do it. I could change this to 18. I don't like this way, but let's try it. If I change that number to 18, six goes into six once, six goes into there three times. There's one estimate. Did you see how I did it? Let me try this one differently. Aha, uh -huh. oh, I see another way. If this is almost equal, this number here, this entire number is almost equal to one. It's almost equal to one. One times 20, which one's the better estimate? I think it's this one. You'd actually have to multiply to figure out which one was the better estimate, but it appears to be that one, okay? Um, I'm going to stop right here. What I'd like you to do, and I'm going to change your assignment. What I would like you to do is simply five problems. Let me show them to you. They are right here at the bottom. I just did all the way up to right here. What I'd like you to do are five problems. Do I want those ones? No, I don't. I don't want those. Let's stick with what we were going to do, guys. What I'd like you to try is the R page. It is right here. 
R, 8-2. The reason I want you to do that one is because these problems right here are more like what we were just doing. Let's look at number 10 because it's a little bit different. Here's all it says. It says, estimate each product by rounding each factor to the nearest whole number. Oh, that's too easy. Six and two thirds. So that looks like seven. So I would round that to seven. This number here also appears right there. Five and one eighths, nearest whole number. If I round it, it looks to be there. Multiplying, 35. Round to the nearest whole number. So what would this be? Rounding to the nearest whole number. This would be 10 times five is 50. Okay, so there are a total of 15 questions on this page. I've just done two of them. So you have 13 questions. I would like you to try estimating. And this is where we will pick up when we resume our video together on Thursday. We will take any questions you had on topic 8.1 and we will review estimating for 8.2. Send me any questions that you might have, and I will see you guys very quickly, very soon rather.